Hey everyone, I build dashboards like this in Excel for a living, and I want to show you a few features that I think a lot of people don't know about that really enable me to start building more complex stuff in Excel. Let's hop right into it. All right, first one's autofill. If you're ever trying to do a series or you're trying to do something repeatable, always try autofill. It does a great job of automatically filling things in for you. It's pretty smart and can save you a ton of time doing manual data filling tasks. If you are manually taking data from an image, like a PDF, and entering it into Excel, you got to try data from picture. It's a great way of automatically grabbing all of the data from an image and dropping it in for you. It doesn't always get it perfect, but it can save you a ton of time. One more quick data tip. If you don't have data to work with, you want some sample data, test out under the data tab some of these uh, options. You can insert everything from geography data, stocks, currencies. If you just have something to start with, it'll autofill it for you. So starting just from a yoga position, you can start adding in everything from images of which muscles are stretched to experience level for the moves. It's pretty amazing. So conditional formatting has a little bit more than people would expect. I really like the ability to drop in things like data bars to easily pick out which cells are proportionately the largest. If you don't want the bars, you can also use a heat map. That's another great way to pick this kind of stuff out. All right, next let's talk about visualizations. One of the big things people ask me is, hey, how do you put metrics on a page like this so you can move them around? This is a really simple trick. You just insert a text box and then in the formula bar, hit equals and point it at a cell and the text box will update according to whatever's in that cell. If you're using charts and you have a source table for your data, try using pivot charts instead of regular charts. What pivot charts are gonna do is allow us to then insert slicers and timelines, which are what you see here, and actually filter our charts in real time using a filter menu. It's incredibly useful for building dynamic reports. Another quick small one, if you have way too many worksheets and it's hard to navigate around your report, you can actually drop text in and link it to different pages and essentially include a nav. All we're doing here is putting in text and then hyperlinking it, which you can find under the insert tab or you can just right click. I talk about this in all my videos, but under the insert tab, you can add pictures, shapes, icons, all that kind of stuff. And just like in Power PowerPoint, you can reorder these, bring them forward, back, and that's how you start to create more complex design. What I tell people is that all the same design concepts in PowerPoint are available in Excel with the exact same UI. So it's definitely worth checking all of those out. Another really important thing to know about is the check accessibility feature. If you're working in a company with more than 10 people, somebody probably has some form of visual impairment. So take the time to do this. It's, I think it's a feature everyone should be using. Okay, and one last fun one. You can drop in 3D models in Excel. It's under the insert tab. One of the options is 3D models. All right, that's it for today. Those are just a few of my favorite let me know what other tips you might want to see. I'm happy to put together more info for everyone. If you're interested in these templates, you can check out my profile. I have a whole thing about them. And thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.